Look at this poor guy pushing this crate on this hot sunny day. He thinks he's working really hard. But in reality, he doesn't realize he's pushing on an angle. And so in physics, we only give him credit for the force he applies in the direction of motion. And so this vector is doing work. This component of his pushing vector. This vector is doing no work. And that's because we consider work and energy to be very closely related. Work is force times distance, and that force only counts if it's in the direction of displacement. And the reason we only count force in the direction of displacement is because work has to result in energy, in joules. And so if we looked at our poor guy pushing this crate, it's only the work that's resulting in any energy being produced. And so in this case, obviously he's accelerated the crate, he's given it some kinetic energy. Now that he's at a constant motion, probably the energy that's being produced is in the form of heat energy, in the form of friction. So we only count the force that is in the direction of displacement. So in this activity, you're going to be looking at force, displacement, and energy.